Big news coming in. These are the latest uh, on the search for Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. The first suspicious objects that were spotted uh, on satellite have uh, been sighted now. It is... Uh, been identified as a 24 meter long object. The second object that was also sighted on the satellite uh, is believed to be much smaller in size. The Australian Royal Air Force uh, has been engaged in search operations and they've now narrowed down on uh, an area in the South uh, Indian Ocean. Aircraft. The assessment of these images was provided by the Australian Geospatial Intelligence Organisation, or AGO, because that's a mouthful, as a possible indication of debris south of the search area that has been the focus of the southern search operation since Monday, 17th of March. The image is in the vicinity of the search area defined and searched in the past two days. Further images are expected after commercial satellites were redirected to take high resolution images of the areas of interest. These will be provided in due course. Four aircraft have been reoriented to locate the objects approximately 2,500 kilometres southwest of Perth as a result of this information. All right, let's get in a word from our associate ed editor, Atir Khan, who's joining us on the phone line. Atir, in fact, was in Malaysia tracking investigations into that uh, missing airplane case. Uh, Atir, it seems that the Malaysian, uh, that the Australians have been able to identify location uh, of uh, a debris that's believed to be of uh, the Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. What's the exact location and is this, uh, has this debris been spotted uh, on uh, on the sea or on an island? Well, you see, uh, in the absence of any credible information, uh, this gives great uh, ray of hope for uh, the relatives and loved ones of the passengers on board this flight. Uh, now, what we are getting to know from the Australian uh, authorities is that it's the Australian Geospatial Intelligence Agency satellites, which have picked up two images, uh, which show uh, an object of some 24 meter long, which could possibly be the tail of the aircraft, and it could also have the black box with it. So uh, they are saying that the visuals are not very clear, but they have a fair idea of, uh, uh, you know, it could be uh, possibly the remains of the aircraft after it had uh, crashed into uh, the sea. But at the same time, they have also, uh, you know, clarified that uh, not too much should not be read uh, in this until the entire, you know, uh, operation is carried out, you know, that the U.S. Poseidon is already there. It must be reaching uh, at the site of uh, uh, where this uh, spotting has taken place. Uh, the, the Australian Air Force has also, uh, Royal Air Force has also dispatched uh, several uh, assets uh, to carry out this, uh, you know, sort of exercise. But at the same time, the Malaysian uh, government also has to be, you know, sort of uh, taken an active role in this and only after which we'll get to know whether this entire exercise is meaningful or not. All right. Uh, Ate, thanks so much for that update. We'll continue tracking investigations, but there's some hope, finally, some clarity on uh, the possible location of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370.